Hello students, in this video we'll construct the set of real numbers using our notion of Dedekind cuts. The set of real numbers is the set of all Dedekind cuts. So in other words, we set R to be the set of alpha, such that alpha is a Dedekind cut. And we know that Dedekind cuts have three properties. So we know that the three properties of Dedekind cuts, the first property is that the cut is not the empty set, it's not empty, and the cut is not the entire set of rational numbers. Of course, alpha is a subset of Q, it's a subset of Q. Two is that if P is in the cut and Q is less than P, that implies that Q is in the cut. And finally, the third property of cuts is that P is in the cut, then there is an R in the cut, such that P is less than R. Now, we can construct any real number in the form of a cut, and let me give you an example of this. So, for example, if we wanted to construct the real number, the third root of 2, for example, we know the third root of 2 is not a rational number, so this is not rational, but it's certainly real. And what the third root of 2 would correspond to is this is going to correspond to the cut, so the third root of 2, this number, this real number, third root of 2, corresponds to the cut. Let's call it, uh, well, we can just call it alpha. It's the set of P and Q such that P cubed is less than 2. Now, we can clearly see that this is a cut. First of all, we know that if I plug in P equals 1, 1 cubed is less than 2. If I plug in P equals 10, 10 cubed is not less than 2. So property 1 is trivially satisfied. And I know that if Q is less than p by the monotonicity of the cubic function. This implies that q cubed is less than p cubed is less than 2. And that says that q is in the cut, so anything less than p is also in the cut. And finally, what we can do is to show that any there's a larger, no, larger rational number in the cut if p is in the cut. So if p is in the cut, if p is in alpha, then if we look at p plus 1 over n, I can look for values of n such that p plus 1 over n cubed is still less than 2. And since we, if we expand this out, we can see that there is a choice of n by the Archimedean principle, so we can intuitively think about this from ordinary calculus. If n gets very, 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 very large, that's very small, and that's going to still remain less than 2. But we can formally prove that using the Archimedean principle. So certainly, this is a cut, and you can show that the, so since this is a cut, you can show the supremum of this set alpha, is the third root of 2. So we will show that the set R has the least number of properties so the supremum exists. So what that supremum will be, we'll call the third root of 2. More specifically, the supremum of alpha is a number, this is a number t, such that t cubed is equal to 2. So it satisfies that definition and that allows us to build terminology or notation for that. So the set of Dedekind cuts is the, all real numbers is a set of Dedekind cuts. Now I'd like to show that there is a natural order on this set. So proposition, R has an order, okay? And so the proof of this fact is relatively straightforward. So remember that R is the set of all that it can cuts. We say that alpha is less than beta if alpha is a proper subset of beta. Now, to be in order, we have to satisfy two conditions, the trichotomy and the transitivity. Let's do transitivity first. That's the easiest. So if alpha, beta, and gamma are real numbers, and alpha is less than beta, and beta is less than gamma, that says that alpha is a strict subset of beta, and beta is a strict subset of gamma. So that trivially basic set theory tells us that alpha 
is a proper subset of gamma, so alpha is less than gamma, so we trivially have this transitivity. Now we want to prove trichotomy, so let's suppose that alpha less than beta and alpha equal beta are false. What do we want? We want that beta is a proper subset of alpha. That's what we are, our goal is now. So let's try to prove that. So since this, since alpha less than beta is false, that means there has to be an alpha, then A in alpha. There is an A in alpha. That's not in beta. Okay. Now, if I let pick any B, if we let, if there's a point B in beta, then what do we know? Well, B in beta, if I look at this condition over here, so we know that points that are less than B will be in the cut. And I know that the contrapositive of this is that if Q is not in the cut alpha, like we have, if, if alpha is not in beta, that means that it has to be what? It has to be bigger than or equal to any point B. So this implies that alpha is, that B is less than or equal to this point, and that's to be an, uh, an A, not an alpha. So that's gonna be an A, obviously, so that's an A. That B is less than or equal to A. But since alpha is not equal to beta, we have that B is strictly less than A, and this tells me that beta is a strict subset of alpha. Beta is a strict subset of alpha, and we've proven our trichotomy result, that it's a strict subset of alpha, so beta is less than. Alpha is what we want, so that shows that R is ordered by this proper subset of inclusion. Thank you very much.